Hello everybody and welcome to um, this episode 3 of Blitz Map Making. I've realised now that the, the map still doesn't have a name, so suggestions for that are of course welcome. I think I mentioned that in the last video. I cannot remember. Since last time, I have built this, which is meant to be like a hanging thing. And I've built this bit of cover. Now, I said that I'd be doing a lot before I came back in here. And that doesn't seem like a lot, but what I have been doing is I've been working on this, a fancy outside. Uh, I'm going to tell you a disadvantage to this. If someone comes up here, they can stand on here and sort of like camp there. I, d I don't know why you'd want to, because there's no way of you winning if another team just shoots you off. And I've also made the back look all fancy and blended, blah, 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 blended them into each other. Fixed quite a bit. But the biggest thing that I've done so far is definitely... I did this. There you go. <laughs> so I have copied and pasted it onto the other side. I... I was testing it earlier. And I realised if, you if you're spawning here, then you could just snipe them. So I added this here to make it a bit more difficult to do that. They're over the middle. In the middle I'm going to have either a arrow spawner or a random item spawner like a 101 rooms um, with random items spawning yeah I, th I still think this should be something here and I still think the map is missing stuff but I am planning a beta beta no alpha probably alpha alpha is al yeah alpha testing on this map and you are all invited all you've got to do is well of course you, you've got to be subscribed that sounds like I'm, I'm only doing it to subscribe but no you, you just gotta want to play um, PGMers um, overcast network people are that's probably the, the desired target market but I just need to end a way that I know I can trust you so if you've got more than I don't know 300 kills on overcast then leave a comment on this video and i will get you whitelisted and to get on i will be tweeting out the ip i'll also be putting it in this video description when i'm actually doing it and i'll probably send it to you in private message but tweeting's where it'll go first um first come first serve I'm trying to create the little thing for it because I don't want me just having to tell you what to do. This is what I've got so far. Let's take a look at it. So you'd start here. This is also the spawny thing. No, forget the rest of it. It's just this pit. I fully putrefied it. That won't be there. Right. So you press this. And this would have to be down. So when everybody's in the lobby, I'll be like, right, let's, let's do this. This down. This teleports you to here where you've got the choice of being on this team or this team let's say you pick this team that should that, why is it giving you it that should put it on you anyway and then once I've clicked this to start I'll tattoo it here once I've clicked this to start the players inside here can TP onto the map like so and battle it out this is blitz rage it's meant to be but i'm just going to test it out as a pvp sort of aspect um ignore the phone I'm just, yeah i'm just going to test it out as a sort of pvp thing this map in, is in no way finished i've still got so much decoration to do like i've added them and done the flags the right direction um the lily pads i'm probably going to put them in the right order before i even do the alpha test it needs to be like flipped on one side so it's fair you know you don't want all the overpowered lily pads at one side or we'll have some complaining noobs or pros depending on how you want to see that um i put something on the forum which was about this this is meant to be a jump boost it's meant to be a spawner and on i can't remember what it's called some bit and one of the rage maps they've got one on it where there is no spawner and it just does it and I checked in the I checked in the forum and someone said XML 
and I checked in there and it was something to do with that but that seems so complicated and I will not be able to do it on here because this is an overcast network um, I could put it in the XML but th this for now whilst alpha testing is a lot easier so what it does you go in it and it gives you yeah, you know what let's go over here I need, I need the world edit compass is it the world edit compass? one of the compasses so Game mode zero is what I want. So I'm just going to quick run through. So this clears your items here and removes you from the team, I think. Yeah. So let's say I want to be on this one. So I'm in. Spawned. So I have the choice to come out here and fight. I'm probably going to learn more about the map and what people are going to do it during this bit, I think. But I'm imagining here being quite a good spot. Might want to camp the bridges. But the problem with this bridge here is that there. And the problem with this bridge here is that there. As in, like, people could be guarding that. Um, but yeah, this bit here. Like a boss. So that's, that's no damage taken. To get down, you're going to have to take damage because it's quite the distance. Um, but yeah, what it does is it gives you resistance and jump boost for long enough for you to get up here. Not no more. Like, oh, I could do with a way of getting down. I did have these stairs there, but that, that's, you can't do all that, was just decoration. Maybe I should, maybe we'll learn that we need some stairs. Maybe that's what that can be. Let's game mode. Road one. Maybe this area here can be some steps to get up. Anyway, back to game mode zero. What I have also added is this. It's along here. It is this pressure plate here, which gives you speed boost. I, d I don't know if that'll be any use, or it will ruin stuff, or it'll be fun and it'll work. But I, I just thought of it kind of like as a reward, like you've managed to get halfway now have the rest of the other half free because if you're down here and you're like boom boom and there's a guy running across there you need to know that as soon as he gets to that middle he's like basically here you know? like like he will be there in no time so you could plan it maybe come in. can you get from here onto there you can you can off onto here 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 Maybe I should have it so you can hop all the way up. I am thinking of stuff way too late into the development. Actually, no, this is not way too late. Like, hop up here, hop up here. Maybe one of these lets you up here. And then this thing fully takes you up to the top of the castle here. That could work. Because if there's someone camping up here, like that, you're screwed, aren't you? But if there's a secondary way and a secondary way to get up here and kill him. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll do that before the actual alpha. I am back. And in between the clip then and the clip now, I have had a mini tournament. By tournament, I just mean testing. <laughs> and a few people that came, I posted on the um, Overcast forum. And I'll just read the list out. We had um, Babs HD, Block Drop 47, 474, why can't I read? Cotland C. Push red button, Super HDFC, Swag or Class, TNT Turtles, the Zana Billy Billy Hilly, uh, Y Kagan, underscore DTC, DTC, yeah, that got that right, the Blue Goose, Tommy Twit, and username 0151. They all managed to play, and some of them gave me very good feedback, which I will be improving the map with. Um, for you, this has been added, so you can get up here and down there. Also has been added is these steps here, which I'm going to put on either side. It's got it there and there, but I'm going to put it on the opposite sides as well. So over here we have this. People said that that needed to be done. Because you needed a way to get up there, and I had the same thinking, thoughts, ideas. Um, thank you to Super HTFC for helping me out with the redstone. I'm not sure if I showed it last time. Yeah, I probably did show it, but... There's additions to it that made it run a bit smoother. Still not perfect, but it w was appreciated a lot. And his link is in the description. Um, 
check out his channel. <laughs> I, I just feel like he deserves some recognition for all the help that he did. Well, we did do it together, but he, 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 I now know more about command blocks than I probably ever would do without. <laughs> I sound like a burp. Yeah, the middle spawner thing still haven't managed to get that working. It's so difficult. I, my MC edit ain't working very well, and the filters are all got muxed up. And it's, it's really weird how it's doing it. I'm going to create, now, before the next clip, a version of this for Project Ares, where the grass is right, and it'd be on single player, because this at the moment is on multiplayer. Multiplayer. Blah, 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 blah. Hello, buddy. I keep doing that. I don't need to do that. Oh, I, just, I take breaks, and then I think it's a new episode. It's not a new episode. Anyway, I've removed the redstone. I've moved that closer. I've changed the grass. I've uh, pretty f pretty fired. That's the word. I need to add the signs here. Maybe we could probably put a player head. Put my player head on it somewhere just to mark my territory. I need to hide the sponge. Um. I've got that working, I did it here to start with, I'll just give you an example. It's at the moment it's set to like normal spawner settings. I'm not too sure if this is what I'm wanting, like it spawns, I don't know, one to four every time a normal spawner would spawn a mob. But that is in the middle, I've hidden it under this fire. Lily pad arrangement, still need to do that. So I, 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 it's, it's the small things like that which would bug me, you know, like, that lily pad there is close to that side. So you'd expect a lily pad on this side to be close to that side, but like an equal closer to... Th that would bug me. Is that wrong? Like, if they were massively out, then that would bug me and... <laughs> so yeah, I still need to get the inside here. That done and that done, so they're using spawners as well. But the MC Edit filter for making custom potions isn't wanting to work for me. I have also tidied up these sides here. Um, I'm adding a rim at the bottom, and I need to do something with these. I, d I don't know what as of yet, though. I might just add a little like fancy room. No one's going to be able to get in here at the moment, unless I think, oh, that would be a good idea if people could get in here, because. I'd, I'd like most of the action to be outside. Yeah, I'm probably gonna make it like a fancy room with like, if it's 1.6, I'll have carpets and stuff and make a little chandelier. I'll make it look nice and be like a proper medieval thing. <laughs> yeah! As far as tournaments, I mentioned in this video alpha and beta tournaments and stuff. We had the alpha tournament, I mentioned that earlier. And I am going to be doing another tournament before it gets released. I will make a video dedicated to that. There's still conditions. Still, yeah, the same conditions as previous apply. Um, Twitter will be the place to go. You must be subscribed. And that will be the final testing before I do fancy graphic work. Final check it and submit it to Project Ares, which I would like all your support trying to get it onto the thing because. That'd be pretty cool, and then maybe next time, once I've, once people have, well, let's just say it gets on the rota, rotation, and people play it, like, the the name of me will not get recognised as being famous, but people will be like, oh, he made that map, and then next time I go to submit a map, the chances will probably be higher, because they know the quality, they know the, what they're going to get. And then, maybe next time I'll probably work as a team and make a bit of a bigger map, or I could try a different sort of style, or... You know, I'm just interested in trying something new. Like, this, for me, has been really, really fun. It's been something to work on, I've had a lot of free time. Um, it's small enough so that I'm not getting bored. And... I, I play enough PvP to know... what would work and what would not work. And at the moment, I'm a, I'm a bit on the bridge. On the bridge fence, not a bridge. I'm looking at the bridge and saying, Fe "Bridge, yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit on the fence. Like, is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work?" And that's why I think the beta testing is gonna be very important, as the alpha testing told me quite a lot, and I've fixed some of the parts that they mentioned. Um, yeah, watch out for next next episode because that will be the announcement for the tournament. The video after will be the tournament, 
I mean, it's, a it's not a tournament, though, is it? It's just the testing. I can't help saying tournament. Um, and the video after will be the final project. Fully done. I'll probably get a few of my friends on. And we can maybe do a run-through of the map. Final run-through. Check everything's okay. And then submit it into the project area. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Remember, rate, comment. Rate? You don't rate. Do you rate? Yeah, you do rate. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Rating, we're back in the day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.